All right, and we're gonna do the last Egypt level. This is the Great Pyramid, I believe. It's something. It's it's got a name. How about that? Let's see if I was right. Was I right? Sanctuary of the Skion. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyways, this is the finale uh, level to this part of the game. And I hope you have brought your fucking sack lunch, because this shit's pretty hard. It's not the worst level, but these are full-blown Atlanteans. These are the real fucking deal. They're the same as the uh, mummies, but they have one difference. They can actually shoot from a distance, but... It's not that dangerous, honestly. It's just inconvenient, if anything. Um, so yeah, those are the full-blown Atlanteans. These guys are pretty much... I think they have the exact same health as the mummies, so they're not really any different. But they're they're pretty tanky. Like I said, just use the Magnum. Use the shotgun if you really want to, but it doesn't really matter. So, this level is kind of short, which is odd but doesn't really matter. Um, this is why I said the Egyptian areas are actually really short. There are only three levels, and they're very condensed. And I kind of like that, though. So, I can't complain. I don't like a game to get bloated and just end up being, like, 200 hours long. I don't really like that. I like a game to end. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Good night. Um, also, we get introduced to the Flying Atlanteans as well in this level. They're really not that big of a deal. I'm not trying to say they're not dangerous, but they're not that dangerous. Um, I think this trigger also spawns uh, another Atlantean behind you. I swear to God it does. I've, I've done this. I've, I know this is a thing. Anyways. So, what do you think uh, this thing is in front of me? It's just a giant sphinx. I'm just going to spoil it. Um, this level is also where you can get the Uzis early, but it doesn't really prove to be much more of a benefit. So, <laughs> I'm gonna do it just for shits and gigs, but I'll show you when, when, well, actually, where are they? They're, well, I'm not gonna ruin it. So, oh, fuck, I got fucking hit by the damn watermelons those things shoot. I don't know. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they look like watermelons to me, and they just look funny. And... My friend used to call them volleyballs, so I'm not going to say that because we're not friends anymore. So I'm going to say they're this cool fucking... Oh, I like that. That little pan up. It looks really cool. It does kind of make me smile. I also really like this level a lot. It's pretty dope. Um, it's just pure platforming, which is probably why I like it so much. Um, this does have a little bit of an order to it. So, you gotta remember where some of these areas are at. So there's an area right here. There's one to the left when we walked in. And that's pretty much it. But we gotta open all that up before we can advance. So this is another, like, test of learning how to read the geometry. And when you get to Atlantis, oh boy, you need to learn how to do that. There's parts in that section where you absolutely have to know what is a surface you can jump onto and what's one you clearly cannot. So, this is a good training for your platforming skills, so... I love... I know it sounds dumb, because the platforming is so basic, but I absolutely love it. It's something that is so... It's rudimentary, but that's why it's such a good experience to me. I just love a well-executed, simple idea, and that's what the platforming is in Tomb Raider 1. It's just a fun, basic concept. It works, because the only fuck-up is your own. Like, you either know the distances, or you don't. And if you don't know the distance, you can't make the jump. Or you might not make the jump. You never know. I don't think this is a slidey surface. Jesus. That actually made me jump. Wow. That is a first. I forgot that was there, because you only see those in like a handful of parts of the game. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, so that is on the other end of the map. I can't really do much about that now, can I? Uh, I don't like this jump. I like how in my mind I'm like, I don't like the jump, let's quick save. But it's true because I don't want to overshoot it. Oh, fucking hell, there's that flying son of a bitch. So they can knock you off of edges. I 
when I was doing my second playthrough, I was like, oh, look at me being really smart. Jesus, that was loud. That was, like, ultra loud for me. Um, anyway. <laughs> God. That, like, just fucking shattered my eardrums. Oh, God. It wasn't even scary. It was just way too loud. Anyway. Um, in my test playthrough, I was like, oh, I'm so fucking clever. Like... They, uh, they can't, like, knock you off of ledges when you're walking because the game won't let you do that. Uh, that's not true. Um, you will fall and they will make you die and you will get very angry. It's a very unfortunate reality that I learned the hard way because I thought... I thought that, oh, you know, you can just do this, this little walking movement, and you'll be fine. Um, like, because they will bump into you. Okay, thanks for not making me deaf that time, buddy. Um, but yeah, you can walk into them, and they'll bump you around like most enemies do. But I thought, oh, because you're, you're walking, you're triggered not to fall. No, it doesn't work. You just still fall, and you fall, and you die, and it's really depressing, and it sucks, so don't do it. That was bullshit. I'm not gonna lie, that was bullshit. I'm mad. Uh, that's why you save the game. That's 100% why you save the game when you feel that you're either not going to make a jump, or what you're doing is not gonna work. God damn it! <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, I, I know why I'm missing that jump, too. It's because your, like, hitbox for the, like, grab move is, like, just barely weird. Because there's a fucking slant. That's why it's doing that, and I know why. It's not because I'm bad at video games. It's because that's exactly what the game's telling you. Like, it's saying there's a slanted surface. You can't grab slanted surfaces, and it's doing that. That's why I hate that. That is so stupid, because... It's not like I'm bad, it's just the game saying, no, you can't do that. Despite that being where I need to be. It's because I don't want to fucking fedangle with this stupid thing, so I'll do that instead. How about that? Okay. I like how the sound channeling is now, like, totally different, so it's not, like, eardrum piercing loud. That wasn't because it startled me, that was because it was, like, really fucking loud on my end. I don't know if it's going to come across as loud, but it was, like super loud on mine. That's why it made me jump. Ugh. I don't know. I don't like jump scares because they're not scary. Did I just put you on edge? Because I put myself on edge and that was not intentional. You know what? Let's just save the game. I think that's the, that's the smart thing to do after a situation like this. Let's just save the game and move on from this spot. Anyways... Yeah, I don't think jump scares are fair. They're not really... It's not scary. That's just... Ah! Uh, like, that's not an actual, like... Oog boog boog. That's like just a noise or something that's just loud. And of course it's gonna startle the fuck out of you. That's not actually fear-inducing. It's dread, I guess. It's a sense of dread. But it's not actually, like, horror. I hate when people, like, assume Five Nights at Freddy's is a horror game. I'm like, no, it's a game with a shitload of jump scares. That's not, like, horror. It's just anticipation. Oh no, now I'm gonna get into technicalities, right? But it's true, it's not really scary. It's just, you fucking get put on edge because it, you know it's gonna happen. You're just waiting for it to happen. That's not, if... If it's something like in that... Oh, shit. Fuck. That was spooky. I felt that, too. I was like... Ugh! I won I'm not kidding, dude. You feel when you fuck up in this game, and I don't know why I'm fucking up so hard. This is not a hard level. Anyways. Yeah, if you if you have to like rely on scaring the person like by a loud noise or like image, then it's not a jump scare. It's just anticipation. Like you could say a traffic light is jump scare because you never know if someone's going to sideswipe and kill you, right? That's not actually horror. That's just a possibility of something horrible happening. Like, that's not fear. That's just instinct or something kicking in. That's why I don't think it's actually scary. Like, visceral blood and, like, guts and screaming and shit is actual fear because they're all, like, triggers in your brain. 
that actually do something like I think it's like that whole thing if you hear a baby crying it kicks in your paternal instincts or like hear screaming or screeching it's enough to like make you want it to stop because of like the want for the noise to stop because you think it's like a either a threat or like uh, something you gotta take care of I'm pretty sure I'm not a psychologist I'm just like pretty sure of that I watch a lot of Dr. Grande, so of course I'm an expert on these things. No, that's actually true. I love Dr. Grande. He's fantastic. Um, I'm not diagnosing anybody. <laughs> Only speculating what could be happening in this kind of situation. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit like, and support me on Patreon as well. So, fuck, that that was like way too close. This is I'm getting ballsy here, and I don't like it. Um, this is one of those situations where you don't have the ability to be ballsy. You have to make your jumps very precise. Uh, I don't like this area. It's fun, but it's, it's cause it's so jank looking and hard to understand, like from a visual standpoint, because it's just, this is where graphics I think are the only exception. So, oh, by the way, see that pile of shit right there? Those are the Uzis. Yeah, that's not a graphical glitch. That's... Jesus Christ. I'm fine. I'm... I don't know why I am just trashing up the place. You know what? No, I refuse to accept that. Let's reload the save. That's bullshit, and you know it. Um, but no, that's not a graphical glitch. That's, uh... That's where they decide to put the Uzis in this game. This is... Can you see why I said I think that the Egypt areas were rushed? Because... Uh, that doesn't seem like it's proper. <laughs> like, that's just... All right, I'll I'll explain it when I get over there. How about that? Let's 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 make our way over there. Let's engage in some jolly cooperation and get over there. <sighs> I remember my friend saying that he thought the game glitched too when we first saw this. Like I said, I have no idea why I associate that playthrough to so much of my experience with this game, but I do. I don't. I'm not going to save. I know I can make that jump by doing this. Uh, anyways. So this jump is very, very, very fucky. Now... I want to say it's right here. This is a very iffy jump. Okay, I, I wasn't kidding when I said this is an iffy jump. This is why I don't think this was like, planned out very well. Oh my god. You know I can pick this up. You know I'm very obviously aware of that I can get it. Okay, there we go. <sighs> like... Yeah. That's the secret. Like, that doesn't seem... This does, this does not look like it's tested. Like, <laughs> this just looks like a graphical fuck-up. I don't understand why they put that there. Like, it doesn't make sense. I guess I'll show the Uzis off as well. So, they're... Oh, god damn it. They're very underwhelming, I will say that. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Why? There we go. There goes my eardrums again. Maybe yours too. I don't know. I hate this. I hate this level because this just... It's been an auditory assault on my eardrums. Why the hell can I target you now? God damn it. You fucking toothy bastard. Okay, cool. I'm just saving the game because it's just... I hate that area. I don't want to go through it twice. Um... Yeah, like, I wasn't kidding when I said I feel like the game was just not... That was spooky. I thought I was going to fall. Um, I just feel like that's not finished. Like, that doesn't seem correct. You know what I mean? Like, something about that just doesn't feel like that was supposed to be just some random invisible thing. Like, they just forgot to texture something that was blocking it. So it looked like there was something there. And you'd have to, like, jump over there and guess there was an item. But... It's just an empty black spot. Like, it's just... 
it looks so dumb that it just doesn't seem like a secret. It's like, what the hell is that doing there? Is that a graphic glitch? Like, that's what I mean. That doesn't strike me as actually designed properly. And I don't know if that's like that in the PS1 version, but I'm pretty sure it is. Because I remember my friend pointing it out. like, oh, the fuck's up with that? Like, I I don't know. That, that could just be me, me bitching about everything. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. That's all you gotta know, man. If it doesn't feel right to me, it's not right at all. I am the be-all and end-all of graphical correction because I make Doom levels. <laughs> Alright, whenever I'm like, oh, I design stuff in games, I don't like to tell people it's in Doom because they probably think I'm stupid. But, to be fair, it is a very basic engine. and it's a, It is understandable, and it's not hard to get. So, in here, I believe, is a centaur. I think... No, this is the weird... Yeah, this is the weird fucking... Seems like there'd be a hidden area, like... But there is an area. I don't know how to explain it. This part's annoying, if I remember correctly. Like, there's something you can do... Like, that fucks this up. But maybe... I'm th no, I'm thinking of Atlantis. Don't listen to me. I'm like, you can... <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. Atlantis has a puzzle that's kind of weird that's like that. Alright, this should be the area that I'm thinking of, though. Yep. There's a horse man. I don't like how they just make horse noises. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm doing so badly on these levels. Oh yeah, by the way, they explode too. I don't remember if they exploded in the, the Rome level, but they explode. So have fun. Uh, anyways, what were they doing in here this whole time? Like, did they just chill out and pee and... <gasps> oh my god, that's what that is right over there. That's a big pile of shit. That makes total sense now. Yeah, that's all that they were doing. They're just in here shitting all the time. Alright, now I'm just... That's reaching pretty low. I'm so sorry. That... <laughs> I'm, I'm above that. Uh... But am I really? Like, am I really, though? I don't think so. I, I'm... I love puerile, stupid toilet humor. I'm a fucking five-year-old at heart. Hey, how's it going? I thought you haven't spawned correctly. Okay. Well, fucking hell, he had a plan and he executed it. Alright, cool. So, now we can do the other one. Don't kill me. That... That just scares the shit out of me because you move so fast in my mind that you're just going to hit the ground and die. Oh, God. Everything about Tomb Raider 1 just makes me uncomfortable because it just feels like the game's being held together by, like, fucking duct tape and, like, broken dreams or something after a while. I'm going to stop doing that because I don't want the fucking ground to kill me because I, I feel like it will after a while. <laughs> All right, so I believe this one we gotta jump in the water. No, 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 no! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I was like, wait a minute, that's the surface, and then I would have just cratered, and I just, oh my god! Why is this level causing me so many issues? It's not even that hard. It's just I just got scared for no fucking reason. I'm thinking of Atlantis. Every single puzzle in Egypt, I think, is a puzzle that's in Atlantis. There's a puzzle towards the end where you gotta jump in the water, and uh, I'm not gonna spoil it. You'll, you'll see it when I get there. Okay. Whew. Oh man, I don't know why I'm just trashing up this level so hard. It's not hard. <gasps> Fucking hell! Oh my god. Like that's the second time now that I've, like, somehow slipped up the controls with my big fat fucking sausage fingers. They just excreted grease everywhere. Ew. That was actually a gross visual in my mind, too. I'm so sorry. Anyways. I never got this far in the Tomb Raider Anniversary remake, so I have no idea what it's like. So please don't be like, This area is much better in the Tomb Raider Anniversary remake. It's so fucking shit. Well, I'm just gonna have to say I don't know what it looks like, so I have no idea to compare it. I hate this jump. It's awful. Anything like this in Tomb Raider 1 is just heinous. This is like war crimes. This is awful. Oh! Jesus. Okay, that was perfect. Okay, cool. Wow.
I mean, yeah, that jump is really scary. You don't want to mess it up. It's really hard if you don't, you know, you, you get the key and then it, it makes it harder if you fall in the water because, you know, you, you got to get the key first. Yeah, I fucked up. Don't, don't judge me. I don't know why this level is causing me so many issues, but it is. I'm not a fan of it either. I, I, I don't know, man. Is this centaur going to kill me too or something? Oh my god, that is a very real pot. Look at that shit! It looks like a fucking, like, bloody watermelon or something. It's gross. I'm not, like, body horror weirded out or anything. Like, it doesn't bug me, but it just looks weird. Like, a veiny... It's shooting, like, a fucking unencased testicle at me or something. It's fucking weird. I don't understand. Also, why couldn't Lara just, like, pick up rocks that were shaped like onks to put in the thing? I don't understand why that's just not a thing she can do. You know, keys in any movie or video game logic just don't make sense. Like, why is it that specific key, like, made out of a fucking skull, will only work if it's blue, but not if it's red? What if it's a normal skull and they just take the key out and put it in the other one? Why would it not work? Because it just detects color? How does it detect color? Or, like, why is it that fucking that only will open the door? Why don't I just rip the door off? Right? Right. You see, that's one of my big gripes with uh, video games. Shit like that makes you feel really stupid when you think about it, because you're like, wow, that doesn't make any damn sense. That's kind of why I liked uh, Doom Eternal, because there was really very little of that in it. Not that I'm mad, like, oh, key cards are so outdated. To be frank, key cards are the most basic form of, like, puzzles in old games, because what else is there to stop the player? It's just making the player go to another area. It makes total sense. I don't think that's a problem. It gets this weird stigma, though, and I don't understand it. It's like, ugh, fucking red key card. Ugh. It's like, is that really that big of a deal? Like, you can't just blitz through the entire end of the level in one go. That that seems really self-defeating, in my opinion. Like, why would you... Oh, shit, I gotta go around. That's right. Um... Ugh platform anymore. I don't want to play this game anymore. It fucking makes me so angry. Um, yeah, I don't see why people think that's such a bad thing. Like, it, how else would you structure it? Like, a cutscene? Like, that's the same thing. Fucking scripted, shitty, modern, triple action, stupid shooter game will have the exact same thing. The only difference is it's not a key card. It's a fucking cutscene. So it's no different. <laughs> like... And then people complain about cutscenes. I'm like, can we just not like games anymore? Is that just the way this works? I don't understand. Oh, fuck me. I could easily just do that. Oh, my God. I noticed it, too. I'm like, wait a minute. Because I could have sworn you could just climb back up. I'm like, ah, God damn it. This level is breaking my soul. I don't know what is it. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, either. I feel like I'm having a stroke, and I'm just losing it. Everything is wrong. Everything is bad. Who carved this fucking thing? It looks stupid. See, I'm just gonna get angry for no reason because it's the only thing I understand at this point. I don't know why that... I'm still mad about that fucking Uzi thing. I'm like, that doesn't look like it's finished and it's always bugged me. I guess maybe they just didn't have time to make it, but I'm gonna assume it was an unfinished, like texturing job or something. I don't know. I have no idea how the Tomb Raider 1 engine works. I don't know if there was a programming oversight or whatever. I don't care. Doesn't matter. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you lose your fucking shit after this level anyway, so there's no point in giving the player the Uzi anyways. Oops, did I just spoil it? Because it, it happens. <laughs> um, so, because you're not gonna be able to watch the cutscenes, because god fucking damn it! <laughs> Oh my god! Why is this level so fucking difficult for me to play? Oh my... I'm... I'm gonna have a stroke. I, if I haven't had one already. Anyway... I am gonna lose my shit with this... Fucking jump. I hate it. It's... Oh my god! Can I just grab the ledge? Can I just fucking grab the ledge from under here? I want to see. Is that possible? No. I can, but I can't. I want to see if it'll let me. I want to break the game. 
Actually, I'm going to stop, because if I keep doing that, it'll break probably something horrible, and I don't want to do that. Anyways, spoiler alert, at the end of the level, um, you do lose all your weapons. Um, you don't lose all your ammo. Fucking son of a bitch! Oh my god. This jump is the hardest in the whole fucking game. It really is. I'm not trying to, like, exaggerate it either. It's just awkward. Thank you, Jesus, saving the game. I'm not fucking doing that again if I fall off of here for some god-awful reason. Holy shit. That, how many tries did that take? Like, 12? Oh, God. Anyways. Oh, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, you lose all your weapons, but you don't lose all the ammo. So, don't worry about it. I should switch back to Magnum here. Um, it's not a big deal because it's only for a few minutes. Now, to be fair, the first time I played the game, do you want to know what I did? I skipped getting the handguns and beat the entire level without getting the handguns because I didn't know how that puzzle worked and... It was an awful, awful, awful experience. Yeah. Anybody who's played this game can probably know what I'm talking about. It was an incredibly fucking aggravating moment that I will never forget. There's so many reasons I remember this game, and it's shit like that that is why I remember this game so fondly and unfondly. What? This is pretty cool. I think that's supposed to be Ra and Anubis, but because the game is uh, a little... Well, yeah, I don't want to say it's old and shitty, but it's a little old and shitty. So it makes sense that we can't see this in all of its intended, like, glory, right? Maybe it is in the remake. I I don't know. So it doesn't matter. We're gonna We're gonna get some goodies in here. This is, I, I haven't mentioned, I'm pretty sure, but this is the mentioned... Jesus, am I having a stroke today? Apparently I'm all over the place. Anyways, this is the Sanctuary of the Skion, so this is supposed to be the last piece of it in the story that we're getting. Will Seth get the last piece of the Skion before he has a stroke? Find out next time! No, I'm just kidding, I'm not breaking the episode here. <laughs> That's terrible. Also, this level houses another... Like, reason I think this level was unfinished. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Where the fuck is it? Actually, no, it's not... I don't think you can grab it when you're underwater, I'm pretty sure. I don't... At least I don't think you can. I'll, I'll show it off. So, anyways, do not fuck around. Do not go down without having all your air come back. You will have a very, very bad time. Because this is a very deep pit. And you will die if you don't have enough oxygen. Ugh. I I hate this part. This is the only part of the level I don't like. Damn it, I think I fucked up too. Uh, it's not... It's not even like it's hard, it's just... Ugh. It's just trial and error because I have to remember where the fucking lever's at. Um, you cannot push switches when you're underwater either. If you push a switch, nothing happens. I think that would probably break the game as well, because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to go from being underwater to all of a sudden no water. I don't think that's how the game is supposed to work, so I don't think that's going to let me uh, do that, obviously. I remember a friend telling me you could do that, and I was like, no you can't. The game will let you do it. You're full of shit. You're lying to me. You're a terrible friend. And then he, he shot me and I, I cried. That's not true. That didn't happen. But the part about him lying about, oh yeah, you can... Oh, fucking shit. Like, that part's true. Yeah, the fucking shit part, too. This isn't hard, it's just trying to find the damn lever in this hellhole of a geometry is just a little bit... Ugh. Oh my god, it's because you're on a timer, you can't be down here very long. And I haven't played this in about a month? So, remembering where the damn switch is is a little... A little past my bedtime at this point. Oh, by God, I'm scrubbing up this level so bad, and I'm I'm so angry. If I could... Oh, my God. You can't swim there, by the way. There's some weird, like, clipping issue that prevents you from doing it. Like, 
Oh no, it's like on his shoulder or something, right? Uh, no? My god. This level is breaking my spirit, and I'm it's making me angry because I feel like I'm a scrub and it's driving me up a wall. It's not because I'm bad at the game either, it's just this is a very unfriendly part. Like, it's not actually hard. It's just... Ugh. Yeah, just it's just... Ugh. <sighs> also, that, like, geometry there is all fucked up. I wanted to point that out. I don't know if you guys could see what I was talking about, but it was, like, just chunked. I'm pretty sure it's right here. Is it... Is it really? God damn it, where the hell is the lever? Oh my god, I know there's a lever you have to pull. That's why I'm getting irritated, because I'm like, uh, this isn't my fault. This is navigating awkward geometry that's very unfriendly to look at and is giving me a little bit of a headache at the same time. I'm genuinely getting a headache. This level is pissing me off that much. And I'm not bad at video games. I've beaten this game like 10 times. Oh my god. Like I said, will I have a stroke before I get there? Because I feel like I'm going to have one. Like, I'm just getting angrier and angrier at this game. You could argue Seth take a break, but I'm almost at the end of it. Like this level, I should say. And the game in general, but... Fucking hell. Because you have to swim between their feet and go through a thing. Oh no, is this that fucking horse shit where it just opens up? No. Okay, I'm not... I'm not losing my mind... yet. But I'm losing my patience really fast. <sighs> am I... just a dummy? No, I am just a dummy. Great. I was... I'm gonna leave that all in. I want you to see that. I want you all to see that. That was totally worth it. God, was that hard? No. It's because it's hard to see. It's not that the actual challenge was difficult. I'm not trying to pull a dark side fill here. That is genuinely hard to see, okay? I've also <laughs> I've also been awake since like 5.30 in the morning and it's like... Let me check my phone. What time is it right now? 9.37. So, at night. So, I... Fucking hell. I have an excuse to be tired at this point, and trying to read very hard textures in a very old game is not an easy task. I have it very hard, okay? I'm oppressed. Okay, here we go. Anyways, there's not very much left to this level, other than getting the ski on. I'd also like to point out, I'm not sure if the, the, the Saturn ski on, or ski on car had been out yet or not. But it is very funny, because I, I don't think that that was intentional. Don't you f I'm saving the game. This fucker knocks me off. I'm gonna scream. Alright. You can get dunked. I don't know why that lowers the water, either. No, 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 no. You get over here, and I'm gonna take care of you the proper way. Alright, I'll let you- I'll let you off just this once. All right, but any other more funny business, and we won't. We'll have a meeting under different circumstances. <gasps> Shit! I didn't die. Uh, anyways, <sighs> well, I didn't hit the ground, so it doesn't count. You can see why I was saying, "Oh, I'm smart," and if I hold down the run or the walk button, he won't make me fall. Oh my god. Do you see why I really don't like the Atlantean enemies? Because where am I supposed to jump, A? There's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to move. If I jump, he's gonna knock me off the edge. It doesn't seem like it, but trust me, he will. Whew, that was spooky. Anyways, this is another area where I'm like, I feel like this isn't tested properly, but... Uh... Where is it? Yeah, like, right there. You could just grab a fucking med kit in the ear, somehow. Because... reasons? I don't think that ever happens any other time in the game, either. It's just a weird happenstance. No, I want to be over here. That's right, because the switch is on this side. 
I like how I didn't know where the fucking lever was, but I know where this is. I guess my priorities are in a little bit of a bind today. Or I'm just incredibly tired. That could be the main one. I've also just back to back like two of the longest levels in the game. And I'm doing another one as well. So I think I have a little bit of an excuse to fuck up. There's not like there's much of a puzzle to that anyways. It's just reading the environment. Okay, now I know where that is. I want to I want to reiterate, I know where that is. It's over here. So don't worry, don't 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 have a gasket now. Don't have a cow, dude. Don't have a cow, man. I don't care if there's an item in there either. I'm not getting it. So here we go. This is the ascension. This is basically like the snake eater ladder in <laughs> In, like, Tomb Raider 2, except there's actually stuff to do. I don't know why that was included. And I know it's a joke now, but Snake Eater hadn't came out yet, so there, this wasn't a joke anybody could make yet at the time. I guess this is just to build your suspense? I guess? I don't know. This just... This isn't doing it for me, man. <laughs> this isn't raising my flag. This is just kind of, mm, like, I guess this is interesting, but I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I hate this. I wish it was some cool key, like a skull or something, but no, it's just a scarab. I don't know why. Of all the keys they could have chosen, they go with that. You could shop at five or six stores, or just one. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, we're using the noodle here. We're gonna use some tactics. We're gonna use some big brain tactics. All right. Oh my god. Make sure you target that fucker first. He does the most damage. Fuck. Oh my god, fucking ass gravy. I wasn't kidding when I said this is, like, one of the weirdest, most rushed levels in the game. I know I said, target that asshole first, he does the most damage. I guess I'm just stupid because he doesn't move. And don't listen to me. Shoots fucking veiny testicles at you. Alright. Oh, I shouldn't have used that, that was a dumb idea. That wasn't really worth a large heal. Oh, uh, I guess it wasn't a large heal, it was a regular med kit. I don't think those guys have a melee attack. I don't think I've ever seen it. If they do, I, I'm unaware of it. Uh, God, this level fucking broke my brain. I, I don't understand, man. I don't know what I've done to deserve this, but I'll, I'll let it happen, I guess. Uh, I really am like, trying to do my best here, and I don't think this is where Tomb Raider's combat shines, honestly. Ugh. Anywho. Ooh, what's this? I can see inside of an area. Wait a minute, last time we did this, there was a big man in there. Maybe. I still got a pain in my brain from you. And it's telling me funny ideas now, like they shoot you to hell. Larson is the best person in the entire world. Yeah, have fun. Get fucked. Anyways. Yeah, we kill Larson. He doesn't drop anything. He just shoots at you like a giant douchebag. And he does nothing. He doesn't even have any unique drop. I think you could ignore him if I'm not mistaken as well. But, you know, I'll kill him just because. I don't, I don't want to find out. He just gets to get killed. As far as I'm concerned... That's all that matters. And this is the end of the level. So we pick up that and uh, that's it. I can't show the cutscene, but I'm going to go take a shower and sleep. So I'll see you guys in the next one where we do Atlantis. I like how that was the only secret, by the way, was the really broken one. Anyways, I'll see you then. God, I'm tired.